Hi, my name is Samuel Marcos and I will present a paper Emotional in Artificial Intelligence in Healthcare, a pilot architecture proposal to merge emotion recognition tools. Emotional intelligence has been defined as a set of skills that contribute to the accurate appraisal or an expression of emotion in oneself and in others, the effective regulation of emotion in self and others, and the use of feelings to motivate, plan and achieve day-to-day -day actions. Therefore, in order to endow a machine with emotional intelligence, it must be equipped with sensors capable of capturing users' emotions, which is sense. The appraisal of captured emotions to regulate its internal states, compute, and finally, perform tasks where actions are regulated by the computed emotional state, act. Automatic emotion recognition is the process of identifying human emotion from different communication channels such as facial or body gestures. Collecting and labeling such signals has been a great focus of research during the last decades, driven by the search to enhance the user experience in human-machine interactions. In this sense, there has been a shift from unimodal systems to the combination of information coming from several channels simu simultaneously which is known as multimodal emotion recognition. Automatic emotion recognition is a complicated task, given the enormous number of small nuances in the human expression of emotions, as well as the variability between users, between cultures, etc. To develop the computerized emotion recognition system, it is first necessary to parameterize emotions, so that labeling can be done using quantitative computational techniques. In recent decades, discrete models of emotion have evolved into multidimensional models. One of the most widely used has been the circumplex model of affect proposed by James A. Russell, where emotions can be categorized by two dimensions, balance from unpleasant to pleasant and arousal from passive to active. By varying these values of each dimension, emotions can be plotted on two coordinate axes. The problem with Russell's model is that there are emotions such as fear and anger that are located in the same quadrant and very close in a 2D space. Both are negative and active. For that reason, the model has been extended with a third dimension called dominance, which ranges from submissive to dominant and reflects the person control, person's controllability towards a certain emotion. In the parameters for the categorization of human emotions, the latest developments in different technologies are applied. For example, capturing movements from the face or body, psychological parameters, or voice and speech. The captured techniques are complemented by the latest advances in data analysis for 2D and 3D face and body expression identification, voice analysis, or speech interpretation. The ultimate challenge, however, is to achieve what is known as emotion recognition in the wild. That is, to achieve multimodal emotion recognition in uncontrolled environments with a high variability conditions such as light, noise, occlusions, etc. This figure shows our proposed architecture. The adopted approach was intended to be easily deployed not only in computational agents, but also in physical agents such as robots. It consists of two main submodules, the facial emotion recognition module and the speech emotion recognition submodule. At different stages, data coming from different sources is incrementally fused, employing common filters. The emotional recognition system modules have been programmed using both JavaScript and Python. Sound and image capture are performed through JavaScript along with the different calls to the cloud app APIs for image recognition and speech to motion transcription. On the other hand, audio splitting and Kalman filtering have been deployed in Python. Python has also been employed to implement data message interchange. In the motion recognition module, we have used Affectiva SDK and Microsoft Emotional API. The Affectiva SDK takes as an input a video or an image and returns a percentage score of each basic emotion, balance and arousal. In a similar way, Microsoft's Emotional API takes as input images and returns a score for each basic emotion. Therefore, we have converted Microsoft's Emotional Output into two values for balance and arousal. In other words, we have taken a circumplex approach to emotion recognition. 
then the outputs of those two modules go as an input of a common filter, which will output two overall valence and arousal for facial analysis. Speech recognition module analyzes the emotions issued by the words of speech. This recognition is a two-step process composed by two subparts, the speech to text and the text to sentiment analysis. The first module takes as an input a speech and converts it into text using Bing Speech App, App API. In case of a long audio file, we have used the sound exchange pack package to split the audio in shorter ones every time that a silence of at least one second was perceived. The second module takes as an input the text issued from the first module and uses Microsoft Text Analytics to output a value of balance between 0 and 100. We have also tried to analyze the prosody of a speech. We have tried several softwares, such as Vocaturi, Beyond Verbal, OpenSmile. However, the results issued were not accurate enough to be integrated in our recognition system. Nonetheless, it would be interesting to improve our emotional recognition system with properly working prosody analyzer. The individual components of the architecture have been developed as independent systems that communicate through the exchange of ROS messages. ROS is the open source robot operating system most widely used in the field of robotics. In this way, different components can be activated and deactivated, or new components can be added without modifying the underlying architecture. This approach allows a publisher-subscriber communication where different components can send messages to any other components if they are subscribed to those messages. Data integration is approached in a sensor fusion fashion, where data from different sources is combined to obtain an output which has less uncertainty than if the sources are used individually. Common filtering is an algorithm that estimates a variable from measured data by following two steps first predicting the state of the system and second incorporating the collected observations once they have been corrected. The Kalman filter processes all available measurements regardless of their accuracy. This allows to incorporate new observations without having to reformulate the entire algorithm. Finally, we have developed an HTML interface for testing the system. It is divided into different areas, each one allowing to control the different components. The interface also includes the option to visualize real-time graphs from the results parsed from the different APIs, as well as to save all data for offline processing. The present work aims to provide an initial architecture pr proposal for making use of different available technologies for emotion recognition. The proposed architecture is designed to easily integrate more emotion recognition tools, and it can also be deployed on physical agents such as robots. Future work will focus on adding new tools and emotional source channels to the proposed architecture, and to fully integrate the emotion recognition architecture with our already developed health ecosystems and services.